Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Yes, my video is very late today. Yes, my hair is still wet. And uh, as you saw in the title, wet hair don't care because I just started 10 days off from work in a row. Yes, vacation. We're not actually going anywhere on vacation, but it's 10 days off of work and we're gonna do like little day things here and there, especially now that we have the Twuck, which is what we're calling our little vehicle that has air conditioning, it's a hybrid, and uh, it's really cute. So yeah, we have a vehicle now that works. <sighs> There's been so much stress the last few weeks between doing a refinance on our mortgage, just about like a month, month and a half, two months ago, something like that. The craziness at work because people are off work and we have to cover and we have to do all the things and then the vehicle drama and then there's other drama involving my friend who has lost his job and it's stupid and then it turns found out that he had a little roof, a hole in his roof at home that he had always some drama there's always drama and I like having a drama free life so today I lounged about um, I was awake at six in the morning like usual and then I went, you know what? I'm laying back down. I sure am. And I got back in bed and I played with my phone and I dozed back off and played with my phone some more and dozed back off, you know, just until about two o'clock this afternoon, really. <clears throat> I just totally lounged out, chilled and relaxed. And then I got in the shower and I did a hair mask, which is just a fancy word for conditioner stuff. Um, it's still wet, but it'll dry eventually. I don't blow dry my hair. Why bother? It just damages it and it has enough issues as it is. <laughs> but wow. Oh, if you're new here, by the way, welcome. We got some new faces coming by, uh, due to, uh, Miss Katrina, Mindful Crafts and more. I will link her, or my video up there and her channel probably somewhere as well because she's doing her 2k celebration and it's a 50 for you 50 for me just watch that video get the deets and enter because we want to win right we love winning when we can you know otherwise it's still just fun to play there has not been a ton of time for crochet lately so yeah we'll get to that in a minute i will have a sort of mini haul like thing coming up probably tomorrow i'll probably record it today <clears throat> of some things that I've gotten. I've gotten stuff from Torrid that I have not shown off yet. I received a happy mail, which I didn't know was a happy mail. I opened it and I was like, what? Because it was from Amazon. So, I mean, I order stuff from Amazon all the time. I don't always remember what I order from Amazon. Oh yeah, you know, I forgot I ordered such and such. You'll have to see, I can show part of it, but not all of it because <laughs> it is perfectly within my sense of humor. And if I show all of it, it will offend some people. Just saying, but it's hilarious. Um, you know, also a few other things here and there. Not been a lot of shopping going on. There's been a lot of working 12, 13, 14 hours, cooking some dinner and hanging out at the house or going out and taking a ride in the truck once it cools off outside. Because if you go on like the back streets and stuff and if you don't have the AC on, you can go completely in electric mode up to about 25 miles an hour. So yeah, we can pretend we have an electric vehicle for little bits and pieces here and there. It's fun, really, it is. Um, yeah, that's been the extent of what's going on. I feel more rested. I definitely look more rested. Yes, I still have, I always have dark stuff on my face, but it's better from having stayed in bed and actually gotten some more sleep. Yes, so what else is going on? Oh been cooking some great every plate meals not sponsored of course uh, that's just like a meal ser delivery service thing that I get it usually shows up on a Tuesday my UPS guy you got something good to eat yeah that's what he says when he shows up every time and I have to sort everything out keep the stuff in the fridge that goes in the fridge that stuff that doesn't doesn't and I got meals interesting meals tasty meals Meals that, for the most part, I can make during my lunch break if I want to. And I did that the other day because I needed more stress in my day, right? I get an hour for lunch. So I dash in there, start the oven because there were carrot fries included. And I don't mean like a bag of carrot fries. I mean, there's carrots and then you cut them up and you make oven fries out of them. Yeah. <clears throat> and burgers and, you know, sauteed onions and, and the whole nine yards. So I got all of that done and was sitting down eating in about 35 minutes. It can be done. 
Everybody says they don't have time to cook. You got to just learn to be more efficient. I can, I can do some speed work in the kitchen when I'm feeling it. Sometimes I really take my time and stuff, but other times I'm like, boom, 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 just stay out of my way because you're going to get run over, you know, like a back truck. Boom. Oh, speaking, I don't know if it has anything to do with that, of food and stuff. I don't know if you ever watched the show Hot Ones on YouTube. Um, Sean Evans interviews people while they're eating hot wings of increasing levels of heat. He had Lizzo on there. She is fantastic. It's a brand new one. Um, I'll try to remember to link that down below. Hot Ones, if you've never seen it. He's a great interviewer, by the way. It's not just like, what's your favorite color, dude? No, he like really interviews and really um, respects the people that he interviews with by investigating what they, what they do, what they like, what they don't like, what they've done in their lives before. It's always a great interview and it's fun to see everybody's reaction to the Hot Wings. If you want the most hilarious hot ones of all time, look up the ones with Gordon Ramsay. You know, the chef. Oh my God. That is some funny stuff. Sometimes if I just need a stupid big laugh, I'll put one of those on because he's so over the top and so hilarious. Anyway, yes, probably going to be a shorter video today because I have not had a lot of crochet. I have wanted to. I look around at my yarn and I'm like, I want to crochet, I want to crochet, but zoom. time for five hours of sleep. Yeah, that's about what I've been getting. Uh, last weekend, after the last video, we went up to Greenville and met up with some friends and took them out to one of our favorite places to go up there, Pita House. Um, it's Middle Eastern food, and I love their falafel. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm willing to drive an hour to get good falafel, okay? So I get the falafel plate with hummus. Everybody else gets other things and we have kibbe and all kinds of good stuff. But went to pick them up at their house, freak rainstorm. I don't mean just, oh, there's a little bit of rain. Ha ha, we might get wet. I mean torrential freaking downpour <clears throat> to where they were coming out of their house with umbrellas and they still got wet and the inside of the truck was getting wet or the truck rather was getting wet. And so she's like, you got anything to dry stuff off back here? I mean... The twerk is so new to us, we don't even have a stash of napkins in the, in the console yet, okay? But I have been crocheting, and I had one of these in pink that I had finished up, just hadn't moved the ends in yet. And I said, well, I got one of these, and I handed it back to her, and she was drying off the truck for me because it's still in there, in a little, you know, slot back there in the twerk. And I have another one here that I need to put my border on. I use these for face cloths. This is the Moss Stitch, and this is... um premier just cotton from Dollar Tree on this particular color and they make a really good fabric for just having a nice little washcloth and yes I make my face ones kind of small because I just use them to scrub up and wash my face and everything then I have to have to dry some before I can toss them in the laundry basket to wait for their turn to be washed and yes I am that girl I do bleach all of my towel like things so this will end up bleached and believe it or not it holds up pretty well I know the yarn says do not bleach and why would you bleach your yarn? I'm not bleaching it to bleach color out of it. I bleach it for cleanliness. Every towel that I own, I own a lot of like bath sheets that I use for bath towels. They all get bleached. That's why I only buy light colors. I don't even buy the dark colors of them because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bleach them. They got to be clean. Okay. Anyway, that's in here to finish up. This bag, by the way, is super cute, and I bought this last year sometime from No Catchy Name from Miss Ella. She makes them, and it has a little Notions pouch with it. I adore this little bag, and this is one that generally goes with me in the car because I can zip it closed, and it can be tossed to the back seat, and nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to fall out. So there's that one. I have actually been keeping back up with my temperature blanket. I was behind about three days at one point. And I'm like, dude, I got to catch this up. We are not playing this game. So you can see the bottom row here. I think I showed you this part last week. <clears throat> a lot of dark colors because a lot of hot temperatures. That's how my temperature blank went. The inside color is the low. The outside color is the high. And let me show you the most recent string that has not been attached yet because there's not 19 squares yet. That's in this little bag. No, do not bring the hook with you. The hook stays in the bag. Look at that. 
And in the middle of that, an eight because we went to August. Yes, my numbers are awful, but I think my eight was my best one so far. So maybe I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah, three days in a row with very similar temperatures. And we, have, we see a lot of that in the heat of a Georgia summer. So there is that. This will get attached as soon as there are 19 of these. It'll get attached to the blanket. And I will do that on the same day that it happens because I really am trying so hard to keep up with it. I want to have it complete and done. Well, of course, at the end of the year, after I get the last squares done and attach it, I want to put a border of some kind on it, you know, just to make it more cohesive, make it a smidge bigger. And I will lay it out and I will take a picture of it because it has made me so happy this year to do that. And finally for crochet, I have this bag. Now this bag is full of yarn that was used during the last iteration of hashtag rock 2022 AU. I have not put the yarn away yet. The big bag that it goes in is over there. And I need to choose my yarns for the next one. Um, yeah, Miss Judy picked another album on the first and I, I've taken a screenshot of the album cover so that I have it and have the colors and everything. I just haven't had a chance to do the things with. I plan on doing that today. And since I'm home all week, I will have time to get that, that square done. So I'll have something to show you about that. And hopefully I'll get some more crochet done too. I don't know what we're doing. Uh, we will probably go to Atlanta one day because there are some great Asian restaurants down there that we like to go to. Uh, sort of a treat for the hubby because it is his birthday this week. Yes, I take a week off for my hubby's birthday. I take a week off for my birthday and I take a week off for my dear friend's birthday. So, and I also take a week off at Thanksgiving. I've been with the company for a long time. I get four weeks off, okay? Plus I get a week of what's called optional holidays, which is essentially vacation days, but they're not vacation days. Yeah, and I also get sick time off, which I use for appointments. I take like two hours here to go to an appointment, three hours there, so I don't use it all up. Um, yeah, that's one reason it's a benefit that if you can, if you find a company to work for that does it, stay with them. And this is for the U.S. only. I know in other countries you're mandated to have certain amounts of, of vacation time, which here we would be like, wow. But we don't. I've been with this company for almost 18 years. So, yeah, I get a decent amount of vacation and I've earned it. Oh, speaking of work, I know this is the end of the video and I usually do this at the beginning. Y'all know that I took on more responsibility becoming team lead. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of work. Um, we've been trying to get a lot done. <clears throat> the supervisor that I support is awesome. She's, I, I joke around, I call her the youngster because she is young enough to have been my child. Yeah, she's only in her mid twenties. Uh, she's got a little family. She's about to have another baby, you know, but she has decided to not be a people leader anymore. She's going to be an individual contributor as an analyst in another department. So her job has come up for offer. Now, technically, I have not been in my position long enough to be considered for that job. So, fingers crossed, I tried anyway. And I know there will be people with more supervisory experience, but I just had another interview, so yay. I mean, not with the wet hair. You know, this was yesterday. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm not going to be upset if I don't get it. I'll be a little disappointed because of course, but because I know there are so many other people with more supervisory qualifications. Yes, I know the department and I know the work, but I don't have that other piece of experience on top of it for the leadership they're looking for. The other thing is I really liked working with the supervisor. She's an awesome lady. And um, I mean, I'm happy for her because she's moving on to something else she wants to do, but I'm sad to see her go. Does that make sense? I mean, I could be happy for somebody, but still be sad for myself because I don't know what's going to come after that. You know what I mean? Anyway, I think that about wraps it up today. I know I've been saying this past couple of weeks. I'm going to try to get my other videos going again. My tea, time for tea on Mondays. Maybe I'll actually have some time for tea Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, snacks around the world on Tuesdays, hot taste on Wednesdays, and other stuff because I miss it. I miss you guys. I miss the interactions. It's just been kind of crazy and I've just been worn out. I haven't even been watching videos very much. Um, normally when I'm working, I kind of keep an eye on videos and keep an eye on my work and I'm doing both. It's been so stressful at work this past several weeks that I haven't had the brain capacity to do all of that. So I don't watch anything. 
and at the end of the day I might listen to some Pandora but that's about it I haven't been watching any videos and I feel bad because I miss seeing you know all of you guys that are content creators um, I miss you commenting on the videos and just seeing everybody it's I do miss that so I'll get back to it just may take me a minute sometimes we just don't have all the bandwidth to do things we want to do bandwidth in here and bandwidth here you know like here my floppy my bingo wings yeah I'm old enough for new bingo wings now it is what it is <laughs> thank you so much for coming by and for listening to me yammer on and hopefully I will see you very very soon I was gonna pick up Oscar but he has gone back to the other room so I'll take a picture of him to include at the end see y'all very soon bye now